Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at the very expensive end of the price point of golf irons against something that's literally way less than half the price. So for this particular instance, I'm going to use TaylorMade and I've got the P790, the 2019 model. So the one that's re released a couple of months ago from when I was shooting this video, following on from the original P790. And I'm going to put it up against the one that's just been released, which is the premium, premium iron, which is a P790 titanium. So very similar on what's happening. Obviously the titanium has got a little bit more of tungsten there, obviously titanium, but the price point is very difficult. 360 pound per iron against 145 pound per iron. So are we gonna see that bigger jump in performance? We're gonna find out. We've got GC quad on the floor as always, and we're gonna get stuck into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the P790 iron to start with. So obviously saw some very success with this in the original P790. And the new one for me made some good improvements with a, a better shaping of the head. So we've got uh, speed foam in here, we've got speed slot in the bottom. We've got a nice sort of player's look and we've got that sort of forged head. So, and so obviously some tungsten in there as well. So it's ticking a lot of boxes. It's quite a powerful iron for tailor-made in that sort of player's look. So we're going to hit a batch of shots with this first, get some numbers. These are both seven irons I'm hitting. That's quite a nice opening shot. Just a little bit low in the face. I'm going to get picky, but flight was quite good. Hitting the green nicely. So as I say, these are both seven irons I'm hitting. The loft of the P790 is 30.5 for their seven iron. The titanium one, the Thai one, is 28.5. So there is a two degree difference of loft. So we've got to obviously weigh that into uh, the, the account when we come to look at the sort of numbers. That was a better strike, getting a great shot there. Lovely flight, good feel. So it's that explosive club. Yeah, it's gone longer that, it's gone quite a long way, is that? So it's that explosive club getting that ball speed up as fast as it sort of can, but as I say, that sort of player's look. A little bit clickier on the sound because of that hollow um, construction, hollow body. Okay, getting a little bit low in that club face, but that is going to do okay. That's one actually very nice there, hasn't it? So probably showing that level of forgiveness with these iron so what I'm really interested to see when I stop, get, obviously get the timer hands is how much better is that iron how is it does it feel that much better does it go that much further we know it's two degrees difference in that loft so I've got to weigh that in but um, does it give me that extra level of, of consistency to warrant me going from a 145 per iron price point to a 360 pound now Maybe on TaylorMade's defence slightly here is there's going to be maybe some extra cost through production of making that iron with this extra material in there. It's probably going to create a longer process, which obviously as a cost occurs to that. But as you guys looking from the outside and looking at a price point, you know, and this is why I'm doing this video, you know, is there a place for that £360 iron, which looks very similar to this P790 that we're hitting at the moment. Getting not a bad strike. A bit more accurate that time. Getting good distance, getting to the back of that green. Going a little bit further than I thought. I may hit this particular line. I've set myself out 180 from the green here. So these are some pretty big carry numbers. 186 that I actually carried. Okay, so there's five shots hit with a piece of nine. So I'm going to keep exactly the same shaft. I play this at um, slightly upright, which is more my spec. I'm going to do exactly the same in the tie head, same shaft. So I'm not changing the makeup of the club shaft, flex, weight, or anything like that. Literally just going to change the head over. We know it's two degrees stronger. Let's see how that performs. Right, so P790 TI iron, literally just been launched. It's their premium option, as I know, with the price point, £306 per iron. It is right up there, isn't it? So what we're getting extra for pay, maybe that money. So we've got a little bit more of a satin finish on it. We've got a lot, quite a lot of tungsten. I think more tungsten we've got in the original or in the P790 I've just been hitting. Um, obviously got that titanium um, 
material in there as well as the speed foam that we've seen and also the speed slot so it's a very similar sort of package maybe just a bit more tungsten, and bit of that titanium work in there um, appearance in terms of looks it's a little bit bigger profile so from that heel to that toe section it's a longer blade length but that difference of that color you know it's more of that satin there's no polished sections of this which i don't mind personally but i think if you're going to make a club that looks a little bit more of a higher price point a bit like you've got something a little bit more quality in it it looks looks a little bit unfinished i think on that on that sort of the way they finish the club off with that brush satin finish to it there so it just loses that little bit of that quality feel that if you're paying that sort of money you would want it to look you know expensive wouldn't you, you want to think i've got a lot in my hands here or i've got what i'm paying for in a way right let's get this first one here okay that wasn't bad Felt like it came off a little bit faster, but we know it's two degrees stronger, so we should see some extra distance with these. Quite a nice uh, straight shot to start with. Acoustic wise, that sounded a little bit quieter than the seven than the, the other seven P790. I'll hit a few more shots to see if that carries on. Oh, that's a little bit of a pulley one there. I was gonna miss that green left, is it? Yep, so I can still hit bad shots with a 360 pound club, that's for sure. Clearly that the Indian firing that arrow there, unfortunately. That was a nice strike. Really good strike. Nice and accurate. Just reaching to the back of that green. That particular one carried... What did that carry there? 189 so let's get out there a little bit more again another good strike looks to be going a little bit higher there be interesting to see the actual launch and peak of that flight again good long hit okay guys so there we go there's the the p790 tight iron hit let's go and look at some numbers really interested to see what a difference there is if there is any difference of course okay just going to look at dispersion first we've got the red and the blue there so the blue was the first batch red was the second batch of the tie so very very similar both pretty consistent now, i think i had a pulley one with both irons to be fair so very similar on the dispersion okay so looking at the numbers i've just had to delete uh, for some reason the first batch of the p790 switched the name out and put hybrid don't know why because i did set it as p790 uh, the numbers are all right um, and then it flipped the p790 back into the bottom section so i've deleted that so I've literally got uh, four shots with each, so trying to keep this as level as I can. I've just got rid of the shot off each uh, section there, um, just because I think the system's had a bit of a glitch there. But anyway, looking at the P790, which is obviously looking at hybrid here, but it's a P790, is 126 ball speed, launching at 16.7 spin at 5435. Moving into the tie iron, you can see obviously an increase of ball speed by uh, 2.3 miles per hour which is probably gonna be that two degrees stronger on the loft. Straight at the face, the faster that ball's gonna come off that club face, isn't it? So I think I would say that's been picked up more through that two degrees stronger on the loft, more than maybe the technology in the head, I'm gonna say. Launching half a degree lower as average, which the strike can move that around a little bit more than anything. Spinning about 100 revs less, so pretty decent um, separation. Again, with that slightly two degrees stronger on the loft, we're gonna see that. Uh, descent angle's the same, so 47 degrees as they both come into land, even though they just launched slightly different and uh, the ball speed's different. And the peak height is identical at 35 yards. Looking at the P790, we've got out 183 carry and 188 with the tie aim, which really that distance gap is going to come from that extra ball speed and that fraction lower spin number. Right, okay guys, so a bit of an interesting one. You can going to post your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts with the new tie iron against the P790. We know P790s have been a great iron, massive success for TaylorMade in the original one. This I think is a nice improvement and follow on from what they did, better shaping of the head. And then obviously they bring out the tie, which you obviously want to hit that premium price point there. 
but what are you getting for your money? Goes back to what I said earlier in the video, what are you getting for that money? Yes, there's two degrees stronger than the loft, which is gonna give that more ball speed that we're seeing. So it's maybe not the technology that's giving that ball speed, that small, stronger loft. The fraction lower spin, again, because of the stronger loft and the extra five yards, whatever it was, five, six yards, again, is through that ball speed and that slightly low spin number. So it's not performing for me any better. The consistency was the same. I've got the same shot patterns as I did with the 790. Possibly could argue, okay, we'll have to start moving my strike around the club face more, maybe a little bit more forgiveness with that extra tungsten, could be an argument there. But for me, which my strike pattern was pretty consistent there, it didn't do anything different. Would I pay that extra from the 145 to the 360? Absolutely no for me. You could go out and test that and it could be different. You might see a bigger difference of consistency um, through your delivery, who knows? And then it might be a warrant, but I'll tell you what, it's a big jump in price, isn't it? For what I would say is, is a bit too close together on the irons in terms of what they're offering for me. Post comments down below, I know we'll get a lot of uh, comments for this particular video. If you enjoyed the content and putting out there, if you've got any ideas for me to maybe film some stuff for you, if I can, I will. Um, I don't have access to every single club option available, but if I can, I obviously will do. I'd love to try and you know put out there what you guys want to watch. So do fire comments around below. Let me know on that front. If you enjoy the content I'm putting out there, you haven't subscribed, please take a second to do so. Ring the bell so you get notifications of any future videos, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.